in the book, you talk about three fundamental forces that are causing this change. Describe the three forces. So there is a long list of factors that are eroding or making the, the, the shields that protect the powerful uh, more fragile, uh, more protective, less protective, sorry. And uh, I, I take the long list of factors and group them in three categories that I call revolutions. One I call the more revolution, the second is the mobility revolution, and the third is the mentality revolution. Mm -hmm. The more just captures what everybody knows and that they, that's the, the point that there's more of everything. There's more people in the planet than ever before. They are, there are more countries, there are more companies, more technologies, more computers, more guns, more terrorists, more philanthropists, more, you know, pick anything that has to do with the human condition. Look at the number of that 10, 20 years ago and look at it today and you see that it has skyrocketed. Uh, and that has consequences uh, uh, for power. Uh, the, then it's not just that we have more of everything, but the more we have moves more. Moves uh, digitally, but also physically, goods and services and money and products and people and ideas and political parties and philanthropists and terrorists, everything moves more. And then there is the mentality revolution. You know, we have a profound change in expectations, aspirations, um, propensities, dislikes, uh, and all of this is documented with numbers. The, mobility, the, the more revolution then overwhelms the, par the barriers that protect the powerful. The mobility revolution helps challengers circumvent the barriers, and the mentality revolution is undermining the, the, the barriers. Put them together, shake them, and you end up with a world where power is easier to acquire, harder to, to use. And, and, and this is why you see what you see on Tahrir Square. You see, I, I, I assume you eventually think the same sorts of things will happen in China and Russia? And that is what I see at this conference. Each one of the sessions here had an implication that confirms what I'm describing. Think about uh, John Chambers the first day, saying 40% of the companies in the Fortune 500 are not going to be here uh, 10 years. It undermines their power. Uh, think about the session we had this morning about digital money and what does that to the power of central banks and governments. Uh, think about your list uh, of the Fortune 500. Uh, you yourself wrote when you published the list that one of the surprises is how many newcomers are in that list and how many come from improbable places that 10, 20 years ago you would not think of. Many of the, of the companies are not the, from traditional places you would expect to have. Uh, and the same with the list of the wealthiest people. Um, they, they are now coming from different geographies, with different sources of wealth, with different uh, portfolios, with different agendas.